Hi, we are at the rooftop of uh, the residence of Mr. Suhas. Here we have installed a 2.8 kilowatt uh, grid tie solar power system. Uh, it's a grid tie. It's a typical grid tie power system, uh, solar power system where the power generator from this panel is actually fed into the LT panel of the house. So what exactly happens in the grid tie system is there's no battery uh, in the whole, the whole setup. So the power which is generated from the solar panel is directly consumed by the uh, the loads of the house. In case the, the power generated is excess or it's more than the power requirement of the house, the excess energy is exported into the power utility grid. On the other hand, if the load requirements are more than what is generated from the solar panel, the differential power or much energy is imported from the power utility grid. So in this whole setup, there is no battery bank. So this is called a typical grid tie solar power system. So we'll just run through the uh, different components of the whole system and see how much power has been generated over the last uh, year and see how much has been exported and how much has been imported from the power utility. So the power output from the solar panel comes into this uh, DC distribution box or an array junction box. This is basically a single series uh, system. So all the 10 panels are connected in series. So first the power, uh, all these three are in parallel. There is a DC fuse, uh, a DC surge protection device or a SPD. This basically controls the surge which happens from the solar panel and grounds it into the earth. This is a DC MCB. So from here, uh, the, uh, it's connected into this inverter. Uh, this inverter basically converts the DC power of the solar power output to the AC power. This is the heart of the system. Uh, this is called a grid tie inverter. So this actually is not only converts AC to DC, this also conditions the power to sync with the power utility grid. However, in a grid tie system, there is a, uh, a small drawback. The entire system works only when grid power is available. When the grid is off, even the, this inverter gets switched off. However, the output of the inverter now goes into this uh, AC distribution box where we have a AC MCB, a AC ELCB and a AC surge protection device. The power output from here gets fed into the generation side meter and from there to a bidirectional meter which we will go down and see. So this is the generation side meter of the system. This only records the output from the solar panels. Uh, this system was installed on the 1st of October 2015 and today we are 11th of December 2016. So about 430 days since the system was installed and the system has generated uh, 5080 units of power. That roughly translates in about 4.1 units per kilowatt per day. See? And uh, so far the system has imported uh, 1,220 units of energy from the utility and the system has exported 3,098.6 units to the power utility. 